Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with the EAC Tip of the Week. Today I want to show you how to do a simple 3D drawing using combined views. 3D drawings can be nice in simple situations to replace 2D drawings or maybe for something like a de design review. So I've got a simple part here and I'm going to create a few views using this. Now if you go to the View Manager, you can see there's a tab called All and it's where you create these combined views and what a combined view is it's a way of deciding what orientation uh, what cross-section and all the other view type operations combined into one state so let's do a few of these right now I'm going to create what I'm going to call a main view and I'm going to reference originals that basically means if I pick a orientation or cross-section or something use the original one don't make a new copy of it So we'll just create a couple more and we'll show you how to use these in just a sec. What you can do with these combined views as well is you've got to pick right here in the view manager to display those combined views and when I do that they show up down here on the bottom of the working area. Now right now I don't have any orientations or anything saved for those well, I want to save unique orientations for each of these views or define the orientations would be a better way of saying that and I've created some views ahead of time so if I redefine these you can see here is where I pick all the different types of of options I want to go in this combined view so for this finish view I've got a view set up for 3d finish notes I'm going to use the master rep I'm not going to use any cross sections for any of these and we'll get into layer states in a little bit. We'll do that with the rest of these. For what I'm calling the front view, I've got something called 3D front view. And you can see in grabbing some sort of a naming convention for these things can make your life a lot simpler. Now for this it might be a little nicer way of doing this too to turn on our shading with edges since we're kind of doing a 3D drawing. But now if we go to these different orientations, these tabs, combined views, you can see that we've got a different orientation for each one. Default as well. And by the way if you leave your mouse over that tab it shows you what each of these views look like so you get a preview as well. So we've got these combined views, each has their own orientation great how do I get to this 3D drawing we've been talking about well let's go to this main view and start out there now when I go to the annotation tab right here normal to do annotations you can see it knows in this detail tree even for 3D views just like the 2D it knows we've got an orientation set up and we have to pick where we want these uh, annotations these dimensions to be created on we pick a view that lines up with what we're showing this top now when I create some dimensions here I can do it just like I was working in the drawing mode and we'll just put a few simple ones on there nothing exotic now that isn't exactly the orientation I would have wanted for those numbers so I can pick all of these and change just about anything I want about their properties one of which being the orientation I can rotate all those by 90 degrees well it looks a lot nicer and just like I was working on a 2D drawing I can move these things around you know so I've got little lines that show up as hints to let me know when I'm right on center so that looks pretty nice and I've got those annotation dimensions on that one view Well, let's look at another view now watch when I switch from the main to the front it turns off all those it knows those dimensions were created with that specific combined view so they go away So I can pick a different plane there we go that's the right one and I can do some dimensions for this end view
and those look like they're oriented pretty nice so I'll keep those where they are and you look as you can see under this front combined view it's added those in there as well so now when I go back to any of the others you can see it knows where to take those dimensions what to put them with you know and it's not just dimensions you can do this with notes as well see I've got a new combined view with no annotations on it and I want to pick a plane that goes right through the middle of here and with that active I'm going to create a note and let's say boy let's put do not paint in the pocket area and I'm going to place that with a leader I'm going to attach it to a surface right in there and just like in the drawing middle button to finish say OK so you can see it added that into this finish view so now let's look at where we're at right now got this front orientation what I'm calling the main orientation got a marking view we haven't worked with yet we've got a finish view so let's go back to this marking view now with that active and again going with that top plane I don't have to create my own dimensions every time I can show the annotations by a given feature so I can use the dimensions from the model itself and what I've got here is a little area that's going to be for maybe marking the part number you can see I can snap these dimensions to each other and line them up and like we had before can grab these and change their orientation. Let me flip those guys around 90 degrees as well. That looks pretty good. And again, they know what view they've gone with. So we've got this finish. There's our front. Main view. Define where the marking is. Now let's go back to one other thing. That layer we talked about. Now let's say in this uh, front view I've got, or the uh, main view I've got going here, let's say I didn't want to see this little marking area. Well, what I've done is I've taken that feature and I've put it on its own layer. So if you go to this part marking area here, this layer, it's got that little cross-sectional bit on it. Now what I can do in my combination views is I can also play with layers as well. So if I redefine this main view, it doesn't have any layer state. What I can do is create a layer state to go in there. Right now I've got a view all layers on, so let's do that. Let's go to this layers tab and say I want to create a new one and I'm call it marking off. I'll go to this layer I'll hide it and I'll update this view we've created so that it knows it uses that current state of how the layers look. So when I go back between these, that has the effect of capturing whatever state the layers were in when I did that save. So let's go back into our combined view. go to this main view here let's redefine it and say I want to use that marking off make sure we've got the marking on everywhere else so what we have an effect when we've done that is I can go back and forth my there's my front view I've got that little finish area. When I go to the main view, the marking is turned off. When I go to the marking view, it zooms in, it's back on again. So with a combination of creating these combined views with their orientations, creating these or showing these annotation dimensions while the view you want to show them in is active, and using this layer state tool, you can make a pretty nice 3D drawing, simple 3D drawing, to replace some 2D drawings or really to use as a uh, design review tool as well. Now if you have any questions on this or any other tip we've shown you can contact me your account manager at EAC or 
enter a comment in the field below right where you're watching this video on YouTube. And if you want to continue to see these uh, YouTube videos, go ahead and subscribe on the page you're at right now. Again, this is Mark Ganser. Thanks for taking the time to watch our tip of the week.